So, I mean, basically it looks real complicated, uh, but it's actually pretty simple. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and mount the PT-100 up there next to the other two that I already have. So it'll go right up in that spot. So here's the box. I got, that's the mounting bracket and some cables. And there it is. PT-100. So we'll get that going. I got the level. Got my drill. Got a hole punch. Some other stuff. So basically the plan is to get this bracket measured off, leveled up, screwed down, put the PT-100 in place, mark where the holes got to be because I got to drill some holes, punch them out just like these guys. And then I'm going to get all that done and then I'm going to call it a day and tomorrow we'll pull all this wire in here. Okay, so I got the bracket up straight and level. Went ahead and punched the holes through there. Here you can see the blanks that came out of it. Got this ready to go. Punched out the holes there and I'm going to put a couple of these in. And we'll mount it up. Alright, there it is. Got it in place. Just missing one of these guys. I'll have to pick one up. But it's in place, ready to go. So next step is pull the wire. Okay, so I've got all this opened up and I drilled a hole here. That's where the wires are going to come up through here, uh, through this guy, and that'll get me into my uh, cable tray. So I cut this big hole that'll allow me to work down in here and get, help get the wires through. So let's take a look outside. Okay, so the power will come from the panel down there through conduit buried in the ground here. I've got some other things coming up too, but they're all going to come up here. The power panel is on the other side of this wall. So basically, this is the conduit that'll have the solar wires, the hot, the ground, and the common. I'll come up, I'll put this guy on here, drill a hole and get into the wall, pull the wires on through and hook them up. There'll be two more of these, chicken coop power, chicken coop video, so I get to do all this stuff at the same time. All right guys, quick update. Got uh, all my power going into the wall. All right, so we're back inside. I just have a few wires to hook up here uh, to get my new PT-100 online. Just a wire from here, one of the grounds, a stacking cable, set the dip switches, retorque everything. Uh, and then we can button it up and this side will be done. So getting close all right guys I uh, thought I'd go into a little detail here for those folks who are actually trying to build something like this so in this case I've just added the one uh, the third you know PT 100 controller so let's just talk about that we've got the combined PV from the array this is the ground mount array this is right here we've got uh, DC negative DC positive and the ground we'll start with the ground that's a green wire comes in goes directly into the PT-100 bus bar right here comes out of that bus bar comes around here drops down and comes into this main grounding system and from there it goes back to the main panel of the house and that's where it's connected to the common and that's the only place it's connected to the common so there aren't any ground loops okay so now we have the PV negative the white wire it comes in and goes directly into the PT-100 on the PV negative. Okay, right here. So that's easy. 
And we got the PV positive. The red wire does not go directly into the PT100, but it comes over here to a breaker so we can break that. It's a 300 volt breaker at 50 amps. It'll probably actually run about 150 volts. So that's this guy. It's on the plus side. Okay, coming in. If it was on, it would be then coming out and going right up into our PV positive input. So now we got the, you know, the plus and the minus hooked up. So now the charge controller is going to take that power, same amount of power is coming out, but now it's at a much lower voltage, probably around 56 volts. So we had a number six wire coming in because we're a higher voltage. Now we need a number four wire coming out. Okay, so we're going to drop out with the negative. That'll go to the negative battery bus bar that's on the top side of the shunt. You can see it underneath there. That's grounded. And then the uh, plus side comes out, rolls over here to the uh, 100 amp breaker, 150 volts. So lower voltage, higher current. All right, comes in the top. If that's on, then that's going to take you right into the plus side of the battery. So that's connected to the battery. That's the bus bar for the battery. All right. So that's basically it. Now let's talk about the uh, stacking, right? So these are all working together. They're connected, they're communicating, they're working together. You have a master and two slaves, right? So the way you select that is through the dip switches. Now dip switch 10 has to be up on all three of them. That indicates that it's a stacking system. Then you look at dip switch is seven, eight, and nine, and that sets the address, okay? The lower, the lowest address is the master. You look at this, the master is the only one that has a network cable. See, no network, no network, network. The master is the only one that uh, communicates to the inverter. So it communicates to the inverter over here, the master inverter, that communicates to the controller. The two slaves only communicate to the master. All right, so that's why they don't have a network cable. So how does this one communicate? It uses this uh, stack port. So there's a stack port here. This guy runs over to this one. And then you can see it's a dual stack port. That one runs all the way over to this guy. All right. So if you're wondering why did I put the master in the middle, it's because it used to be here, but it, that function broke on this PT100 doesn't work so I had to make him the master now and those are the two slaves okay so what else if you um if you're using if you're not using an external ground fault you're using the internal ground fault on these PT100s then only the master can have its fuse in it you have to remove the fuse here and remove the fuse here because it can only be connected to ground at one point all right so that's basically it. Let's just talk a minute about these breakers. We'll go from left to right. This is the battery monitor kit. All right, a little two amp, and then one, two, three. These three are all from the outputs of the PT100. One, two, three, outputs, right? Higher amps, lower voltage. These are the inputs from the solar panels, combined PV from the arrays. So they're higher voltage, lower current. And that goes up into the PT100s. So, I mean, basically it looks real complicated, uh, but it's actually pretty simple. It's not rocket science. Um, not bad at all. So uh, I think I've got everything in place. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up, even though I don't have my panels hooked up yet on that third PT100. The rest of the system should work, and when I eventually get the panels on, we'll be generating power from that too. Okay, so in the next one, we'll be wiring up the combiner box, and then we'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.